Welcome to the Startup Grind. So I was working for a think tank doing, uh, I don't know, IT type work for a summer. This was in 1975, so I'm you know, still a college kid. Yeah. And a coworker comes in after lunch, and I, I had just stayed at my desk and kind of had wor worked through lunch. And this guy comes back and he says, you're not gonna believe this. I was just in a retail store where you can rent a computer terminal, like an IBM 3270, that was a classic you know, green phosphor display, or a KSR 33. Anybody here ever heard of that? Uh, the KSR 33, that was the dude that, that had the roll of yellow paper and da, 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 you know, made all this racket and yeah. spit out this, you know, 10, it would, t it would literally type 10 characters <laughs> per second. It was so slow you could watch every <laughs> character getting formed. And he was telling me, yeah, you could take one of these things home and they, you only had to pay $10 an hour. <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh my God, finally it's going to happen. Because up to that point, I'd already started studying computers because I wanted to make computer games. And I'm trying to figure out, well, when are we going to get computers in the home? It's like, well, okay, here's the first store I've ever heard of that'll let you get a computer in your home. And then this guy, uh, his name is Paul. And Paul says to me, well, that's not all. I just read this company invented a computer on a chip. So pretty soon you'll have your own computer. And I went, whoa. That was, of course, the Intel microprocessor, right? By the way, that store, that was Paul Heiser's store. It was called The Computer Store. That was the first computer store in the world. <laughs> and it just happened to be the same city where I had this job. Wow. And you know, when you have enough coincidences like that over the course of a lifetime, you really do begin to feel like you are working on God's plan just because, yeah, how, how could I have planned that? Yeah. And you know, going back to Steve Jobs, you know, this is the beginning, 75, that's basically uh, around the time that they're getting started. They hadn't really uh, built a commercial product yet, but Dick Heiser, that was one of our first customers.